Good morning. You guessed it. We're back yet again. So thank you for rejoining us. Got another walk planned today. Back in the glorious summer-like Lake District. And today's walk is Corsi Pike onto Ardcrags. We're starting off in the Newlands Valley or the very top of the Newlands Valley which you'll see here. And the car is parked just there as you can see. And uh, yeah, it looks like we're in for some okay weather today guys. So uh, thank you for rejoining us. Thank you for watching another video. And it is good to see you all back again. First peak we're back in then is obviously going to be Corsi Pike. It's about 640 meter ascent. Fairly steep incline. But it kind of meanders around the little valley. And we should get there really in no time. Uh, anywhere can adjust this a bit. Never got contrast a bit better. That's really quite nice, that, doesn't it? Get the cost spike. Turn a bimble. But, uh, shouldn't be too bad. So, ooh, grass in the way. Conditions today then. Um, according to the weather, a bit of a grey, overcast start. Might get a little bit, a bit of rain, a few spots. But apparently, as the day goes on, it's going to brighten. And uh, we should enjoy some sunshine. But I'll put the fleece on anyway, because it is a bit nippy. Wind's a bit stronger than I thought it was going to be. Let's go, come on. That was a bit steep. Cut, crash my top. How good's that? Oh, I wonder who that is. That's Cat Bells. And over there, you have High Spy. And then over there, just in the cloud, you got Dale Head. And below that, Dale Head Tarn, which is in there. If you want to watch the video of me doing Dale Head in the snow, in the cold. Oh. There was a rim ice on the trig point. Yeah, you'll be able to see that up here. Right, let's have a look. So behind me is where we're going. Down here is Keswick. Some sort of event going on there because then here loudspeakers and stuff like that. So I'm not sure what, but I did see some uh, roads and that closed off, some barriers. Did have a quick Google, but I couldn't see it out. Hey, we're going to crack on. Come on. Well, we're about 575 meters, so about two thirds, maybe three quarters of the way up Corsi Pike at the moment. I'll look at the, the views opening up. Look at that. Beautiful part of the lakes, this. Just love the ridges and the valleys. All one after the other. You can probably see the ridge, valley, ridge, valley, ridge, valley, ridge. We're going about an hour, but I have stopped, taken some photographs, done some dronage, as I do. Uh, yeah, probably about just on 100 meters ascent left. So if we crack on a little bit. We have an open bit here. So spin you around. You can't see skid off. It's way under the cloud. Uh, 
obviously discussing the cloud. I did do a walk probably about a month ago where I did um, Greyfriar from Rhinos Pass. Swirl House as well, up near Coniston. And that just turned out to be a clagged in all day. It's awful. No fails. views or anything. When all else fails, hunker down. Those things are hardcore, aren't they? Just sat there, yeah. It's raining, so what? So although I recorded footage, I didn't deem it of uh, sufficient quality to make a vlog out of. Because you'd have just seen cloud, me talking and cloud in the background, which would have been a bit crap. But yeah, today's a tiny bit better, so we'll get a vlog out of this, I think. So we're off to Scar Crag, Ard Crag. But first we've got to descend and ascend across Rigbeck, which is down there. So from here, we're just following the ridge line all the way across to yonder. Hopefully staying out of the cloud. Wow, what a difference it makes getting out of the wind. I can untighten my hat now and let my brain breathe. Well at risk of losing that. Oh jeez. Oh, I can feel the circulation in the top of my head now. We're ascending now from the base of Screes. Yeah, the base of Screes where the Ziggy Jag Zaggy Path goes up. And we're descending down to Rigbeck. Just in the valley there. And then we'll bob up the other side to Art Cracks. I want to say Bob, I mean puff and puff and get knackered and break your legs because it looks fairly steep. And we will carry on to Knot Rig. Once Knot Rig is done, that is the last wane right. So again, we'll just follow this ridge line all the way back. And back down towards the car. Take some pics. See you guys in a bit. Bye. Right, summit of Knot Rig. That is that bag. Tiniest little cairn you've ever seen. But all done. So now from this end, we have a view of down towards the Buttermere Valley, as you can see down there. Can't quite see Buttermere because it is off to the left hand side. And over there you can see the lights of Robinson. And over that end you've got Red Pike etc. Just get out the window. So we are just below the, the cloud line. Probably at about 700 meters or something like that. We're at five and a half. Did all right. We have got some views at least, so now we need to do is just head back the way we came. Um, right along the ridge line again. And then down the other end towards Newlands and Keswick. Let's get cracking.
Well, what a view that is. Can't complain. Oh. Just had the drone out. He's in the air literally two minutes. And then it started sodding raining, didn't it? So I quickly got, got what I could, whisked it in. People were about as well, and I don't normally fight with people who are knocking around because yeah, I'm just conscious that they come here for peace and quiet and then me flying a buzzy thing about is not conducive to that. So I made my apologies, whipped it out of the air, and I'll put it away, I think, dried it. So hopefully it'll be all right. Oh, forget to mention. Um, obviously, people that return, you've already subscribed because you knew the video was up. But those that haven't subscribed, I do notice that none of you are subscribed. So if you don't mind doing the honours, hitting the subscribe button, and you get a notification every time the video comes out. So, yeah. But if you made it to this point, again, I always say, rain on the camera. I always say, thank you for watching. Hope you get some inspiration from the videos. And the vlog. Well, that was a bit embarrassing. Walking down the hill, recording this, and two people pop up above <laughs> and from inside the heather, and I'm there not running away to myself like a plonk. It's a, oops. So oh, now the ridge just comes down. Following the path back down to Newlands Pass and another place called Newlands where I parked the car. Uh, the rain stopped now, so ironically. Now the drone's put away. So, right. <clears throat> and I also have a running house. So, I'll come, see you in a bit. On the way home now, on the final stretch on the road, and here's the ascent of Cat Bells. You can see how many people are up there, toddling along. Forgive the Land Rover. All the people toddling along, and there's the summit of Cat Bells. Busy, busy. All right, turned out nice now. Nice and warm. Not raining one bit, and you can see Skidor because all the clouds shifted. So we're back on uh, Newland Pass, heading back towards the car, and I think it is left. This fork in the road. It's me. Yeah, so you hang a left at that fork in the road, heading into towards Keswick. So it's a bit of a walk, yeah, I think. Not much concern. Probably about a K that's left. But I don't think that will take too long. So. Well, my appreciation to everybody that's watched the video. Thank you very much for coming back. We'll get back to the car, nip off and get it charged. And that will see me home to uh, charge it there for the night. So, without further ado, adios. Appreciate you coming, but I'm afraid I've got to go. And so do you. See you next time. Bye bye. And here we are, back to the lovely waiting vehicle. The environmentally friendly one. <laughs>